it seems that the toxic, filthiest stuff is what always gets routed through disproportionately impacted communities. I know people think that a train in the mountains or a train in Utah don't impact us here in Denver, Colorado. But when they build these trains, they have rippling effects that will bring more than four times the amount of trains through Denver every day. Vibrations, air pollution from these diesel engines, and absolutely the possibility of derailment. If a train were to derail here, it would impact our downtown area, it would impact our river quality behind us, and it certainly would harm people. It's unacceptable risk, and it's actually unacceptable activity all the way upstream into Utah. We don't need more destruction in our communities, and this is dangerous for climate, for water quality, impacts on the environment and ecosystems, and human health. We're very, very concerned about the possibility of the Uinta Basin Railway coming through Colorado. We should not be putting our waterways and our precious resources in harm's way. It's a no-brainer. Many people are already aware that along the Front Range we've been out of compliance for ozone for many, many years. Our air pollution here is not, it, it's, it's bad. More than a third of the Latinos in the United States actually get their water from the Colorado River alone. And as a person from the Headwater State, I know how important it is for us. Seven rivers flow out of Colorado and we have a huge responsibility to protect it. There are so many unknowns about this project. This uh, waxy crude, by the way, coming from the Uinta Basin is some nasty stuff. Really uh, bottom of the barrel, thick, nasty stuff that would be very, very difficult to clean up in our environment. The impacts all the way from Utah to Colorado to Denver to Port Arthur, Texas, and all along the way this project stands to damage the water, harm people, and certainly exasperate the climate crisis. These communities here in North Denver are breathing in these, these particles and the, and the ozone even more than the rest of us here in the metro area. And it, it makes the rates of childhood asthma just skyrocket, which means you have lots of lost school days, you have lots of lost work days because parents are taking their children to the doctor all the time. It often feels like we're up against big profits, corporations, the fossil fuels. Collectively, we're working together to protect water from start in the headwaters to the deltas. On the east coast, those horrible fires that are bringing down the smoke and particulates from the Canadian fires. Uh, you know, a lot of people have started wearing masks again on the east coast now because they don't want to be breathing that stuff. It would be terrible for us to just have to live in masks eternally. We're really um, making a bad error if we think that it's A-OK -okay to expose some communities to this kind of filth, this kind of risk, this kind of ongoing um, hardship on families and individuals, uh, just because that's how it's always been. Absolutely, I think this can be stopped.